Vixens, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Valerie and my and I am your independent Fancy consultant. And I have a little co-hostess named Violet, and she's taking a little siesta right now. And her little pillow. And she's snoozing, she's taking a nap. She got bored waiting on her mommy to go play, so <laughs> I'm trying to get all my filming done today, guys, because I have not filmed in two weeks, and I'm on vacation, so I don't want to spend my whole vacation filming, so I'm doing, like, a ton of the filming today. This is my fourth video. Yeah, it's my fourth video. So, guys, today we are doing a video on Scentsy. It is Bring Back My Bar, um, which I'm kind of late to the game. It's all over with. Sorry about that. I didn't have time. To, I didn't really get it out, and, and I didn't get my bars too late either, um... They did offer um, the consultants to get these uh, earlier, like the month before prior, and I just didn't get them. Um, I kind of debated whether I wanted to, whether I didn't want to. I'd never done it before, so I wasn't sure whether I wanted um, that many bars. There's 25 bars that came back. So what Bring Back My Bar is, is where twice a year, um, consultants and co customers and even non-customers can go on any co any consultant's website and vote back bars. Um, they offer voting twice a year. Um, and then you can vote back your bars. And then they come back one month for one month. June was the month that these came back in. Um, and there was 25 of them. And then you can purchase them during that month. This time they had a bundle of 12 for $50, which I thought was a really good price. And um, then uh, if you like them, you can put them in your club before the end of the month. And then you can continue to get them. Um, so as long as they're in your, your Sunset Club, you can keep them in there forever and ever. As long as you don't take them out there, they'll keep making them for you. So it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of retired scents and um, discontinued scents. And I've not been into Scentsy very long. So there's a lot that I've not got to try. And so it's really, I like it for the fact for new people coming into Scentsy that, you know, we get to, you know, try some of these and um, and decide whether we want them or not. And everybody's scent, uh, scent, scent, smell, sense of smell is different. Um, so it's interesting to see who likes what and who doesn't like what and why and that and well, who smells this and some people smell something totally different out of the same bar and that's kind of fun to watch and, and see how that goes. So guys, I did 12 bars. Okay, so I got 12 bars I'm going to share with you today. Um, I also have another 12 bars on the way. I decided at the last minute on the last day I thought, hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and get another 12 pack. And I didn't get all the scents, okay? Because I know there were some that I probably really wouldn't like. And I did watch people's um, videos on YouTube and and to see people's thoughts and opinions. And some were very light smelling. Some were very, very floral. And I don't like really strong, heady type floral scents. So, um there's just a few that I did not decide not to get. I think I might have thrown all but maybe a couple into my club. So, and they're in, still in my club. And I have till the end of this month to decide because my club will um, process like the 23rd. So I have until then to decide what I'm going to do with them. Um, so, and that I thought will give me a chance to uh, warm these, see how I like them on warm as well as cold. And get the new shipment that will be here too check them out as well and then take out what I don't want and keep what I do want. So, um, and then there may be even a few that I might keep in my club in order just to get a few bars, you know. Um, I did put, I think, uh, most of them in my monthly and most of them in my quarterly. So, um, I may like, I know I'm going to be just getting rid of some of them because I can't afford all of them. <laughs> afford all of them. Just, just saying. So, Let's go over these 12 bars. Some of these I have warm, some of them I have not. I think I have the scent descriptions written down. Let me check here because my stuff always seems to get messed up at the last minute. Yeah, this one got messed up. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, I have the scent descriptions written down and stuff. 
I only have my phone to, to film with, so I can't like look things up um, online and give you the information while I'm filming. So I have to write everything down. So I need to change that, but you know, you do what you gotta do. You do what you do. So the first one, and I chose the ones I wanted. I just didn't get all of them. Let me find this one here. Is now you can't get these anymore. Okay, I'm just letting you know you you cannot get these any longer. Um, but there is some sales coming up, so you may want to check out the sales because sometimes they put some of these I think in sales. Um, so this first one is caramel vanilla delight. It is vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and white rum. This is right up my alley. I love caramel and I love vanilla. And I like rum. I love <laughs> rum was my if I if I ever had to drink, if I ever did drink, I I did enjoy rum from time to time. I don't drink really drink anymore, but in my day, <laughs> um, I love this one. I have not worn this one yet. But I just know it's going to be one that I love. So it smells so sweet and good. And I love that type of scent. So I know that I knew that one was going to be a hit with me. All right. So the next one is Blackberry Orange Marmalade. And it is a pretty purpley, medium grapey color, I guess. And it is, let's see here. Let me find it. Blackberry Orange Marmalade has orange marmalade, blackberry jam, and sugar crystals. And I wasn't sure whether I'd like this one or not, because I'm not real fond of orange. But on cold, I was like, oh, I still wasn't sure I could really smell the orange in it. And I could smell the marmalade and the blackberry and the sweetness. But when I put it in my warmer, I did put, I did warm one cube. Um... I put, oh, I'm sorry. Miss Violet wants to smell it. You want to smell it? Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. She's got to smell my bars. I, she jumped up here and... Okay. She's leaving now. Um, no, she's back. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, um, this was really good. I really did like this. It was sweeter than what I thought it was going to be. And um, it... It was really good. I like this. So this is, I'm going to have a hard time deciding, guys, because I can't keep everything, but this one's good. This one's probably going to stay. All right, next one I did not warm yet is Cutie Pie Cupcake. This is kind of a caramely color wax. Cutie Pie Cupcake has got sweet clementine, yellow cake, Yellow cake batter, vanilla, sugary icing. And it's good. It smells good. I've not warmed it. But I smell that lemony, lemoniness to it. I smell lemon. I don't smell so much clementine. I smell a lemon. It just smells good. It smells like cake. And so I'm anxious to warm that because I do have clementine cupcake. And I heard they're very... Similar, but there's a, some differences. So I'm kind of anxious to try that one. That's going to be on the list for the next one. All right. Uh, blueberry Pancakes was another one. And this is uh, another grapey color. All right. This one I was kind of worried about. I didn't know whether I'd like this or not. But I, I did like it. Um... Blueberry pancakes, it's got blueberry, butter, and light maple. And it does. It really does. Now, when I first started warming, I did warm this one, one cube. When I first, and I smell a cinnamon note in there too. I smell a little bit of cinnamon. Now, when I first started warming it, I smelled the maple. And it wasn't like knock, knock me in the face maple, maple, but I did smell maple. And then as it progressed, um, I kind of smelt that cakey, kind of a little bit of a cakey, pancakey note coming out. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then the blueberry hit, and it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Then as it was getting winding down, I really smelled a lot of cinnamon in it. Cinnamon, maple, sweetness, and but I like that. So this is definitely staying in my club. I went into my club and it's staying there because I like this one. Um, it's not real blueberry, blueberry. I mean, it's like you can smell blueberry, but then it doesn't like it doesn't last and last and last, and it's not mainly blueberry. It's like a um like cycles through different scents and I kind of like scents and bars that do that because you're kind of surprised you're not knowing not knowing what you're doing getting okay this is buckleberry and this is a deep burgundy color and this and I did warm one key to this uh, and I did warm this in my bedroom uh, buckleberry let me find it here Where'd it go? Buckleberry, buckleberry, buckleberry. Buckleberry. Berries, crumbly coffee cake. Okay, that's misleading because I don't smell coffee cake in it at all. I smell berries. And I smell like a tart note. Like, these are like a tart berry, but a deep, deep, almost plummy berry. And there is a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's not like super sweet, but I do smell a little sweetness in it. And I smell some spice in there too. Not, and then when I was warming it, I didn't smell a lot of the spice, to be honest. I smell a hint of it from time to time. But I was just wonderful. Oh my gosh, then this just really filled my bedroom. One cube filled my bedroom up wonderfully. It was it was waf wafting, wafting down my hallway and I walked into from my living room. I walked in my hallway and I smelled it right away. So this it was going through my hallway and it was wonderful. It's kind of tart at first and then you get kind of get pick up a little bit of sweetness. I felt like that and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So yeah, and this was a long performer. It was like I kept it nonstop in my warmers for over 24 hours and it was really good. So I'm very happy with that one. That's another keeper. Might be in trouble, guys. Okay, next one, Zeppelin. And I warmed this one, one cube, and I warmed it in my bedroom. Zeppelin, it's got citrus, sage, vetiver, and sandalwood. And it is kind of a grayish color. I like this one. It's got like a, yeah, it's got citrus in it. I really smell the, the brightness of that citrus and when it was warming. And then the sage kind of grounds it down a little bit and gives it a fresh scent, but not, I don't think it's like overly like shower, um, like shower vibes, you know, or soap vibes, but it's got a little bit of that, I can smell a little smokiness from that sandalwood. But I really, I like this one too. It smelled really, really good. Um, I don't know whether how it would perform in my open concept because I don't you know I haven't tried it yet but in my bedroom it performed really nice and it's still in there right now so I don't notice it coming out of my bedroom though um, so um, it's not like super super strong but it's a nice when I walk in my bedroom I can smell it you know and it's wonderful so I like that one. All right, guys, we got French toast, and I'm not warm this one yet. Um, it has got like a goldy, golden, caramely color, and it smells good. I, I think I'm going to like this, but I don't know. Um, French toast, bread, egg batter, powdered sugar, maple syrup. Um, I smell cinnamon. I smell a lot of cinnamon in it. And maybe not so much maple note, but a sweetness, like a sweet, a sweet cinnamon scent. Like maybe the powdered sugar and the sweetness of the, the cinnamon mixed together. I don't smell egg batter. I don't smell bread. And I've not warmed it, so I don't know. Maybe those notes will come out when it's being warmed. I don't, I'm not sure. So this is still up in the air. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um on cold I think I like it but we'll see 
Okay, cotton candy cookie, guys. And this color is a, like a light lilac, pinky lilac. All right, so this guy, I thought this would be my favorite. I really thought, oh, this is going to be my favorite. I'm going to have to get six or eight bars of it and then keep, you know, keep getting it coming to my club and everything. Um, but I will discuss that here in a minute with you. Let me find it here. Cotton candy cookie. It's got cotton candy, cookies, and sugared raspberries. And I don't smell really much of any of that. I smell... A little bit of a sweetness. I smell some sweetness. I smell kind of like maybe a cookie note, but it's kind of got butter, like a buttery cookie note. And I really don't smell cotton candy. And I warmed one cube of this in my bedroom. And after the initial warming, like maybe an hour or two, maybe three, I really didn't smell much sweetness out of this. I didn't smell raspberries. I didn't smell cotton candy. The main thing I smelled was butter. Like butter. Not like um like maybe a sweet butter for a while and then that sweetness kind of wore off and then I just kind of smelled like a butter dough, doughy scent. Not like a sugar cookie, but like a dough, like just a dough. I did not care for this, okay? I was really disappointed in this one. Now, I've heard a lot of people say the first time they warmed it, they didn't care for it either. So I'm going to give it more of a chance, okay? I'm going to try it before I kick it out of my club. Um, but at this point, if it doesn't change, I'm going to probably get rid of it. I'm probably not going to get any more. Um, and it's not that I couldn't smell it. I could smell it. I could really smell it. Um, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't a fave for me. It really wasn't. And even smelling on cold, it's like, it's just weird. I think it's just a weird scent and I don't know, maybe I just, I have to get used to it or something, but I don't know. I just didn't really care for it. So that's me. That's my nose. So if you love it, please don't hate me and don't come for me because, you know, everybody smells differently, you know? What I may like, you may hate. What you may what you may hate, I may love. So it's just, you know, it's it's just it's so personal, you know. Scent is very personal. And I'm not saying it's a bad scent. I'm just saying I didn't care for it. All right. Blonde wood and moonflower. And this is kind of a tanny, caramely, yellow, like a caramely color, I guess. This smells wonderful. Okay, this smells really, really wonderful. This one I almost did not get because I just wasn't sure I was going to like it. Um, but I thought, okay, what the heck, I'm going to try it. I'm trying it. We're going to see um, if I can find it here. <laughs> Blonde wood and moonflower, warm wood, amber, moonflower, white roses, and lilies. Now, I get a floral, but I don't get like in your face lilies and in your face roses because I would not like that. Um, I get almost a citrusy scent, I think. It's a nice perfumey. I like it. It's very perfumey and and I I can't wait to yeah I can't wait to warm it to see what it does but on cold I think I'm really gonna like that we're almost done guys love and happiness this is the one that Patricia Gates loves um, and so I already warmed one and it's a pretty pink wax and scent notes are, let me find it here, love and happiness, glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane. Now, I wasn't sure whether I was going to like this or not. I heard some people say they really liked it. I heard some people say they really didn't like it. Um, so I was kind of, uh, should I try it? I thought, I'm going to try it and see. 
And I'm so glad I tried it because I love it. I really love this. Then I heard it was light. Then I heard it was a good performer. And I think it's a good performer. It, I have it, one cube in my open concept. And it is it filled my it filled my open concept in my kitchen area really nicely. Not like overly, but you know, it's there. Yeah, I can walk in and go and smell it. And as I'm in the rooms and stuff, I can continually smell it. And I love it. It's sweet. It reminds me a lot of pink haze. I really get a lot of pink haze in it. And I love that scent. Now, as I was progressing, I did smell the chestnut coming out in it a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I like that note. Excuse me. I like that chestnut note. So, this, and then my sister came over and she smelled it on cold. And she's like, oh, I want some of that. And it was the last day she could order it. I said, well, I'm putting another order in. I said, if you want a couple bars, let me know. She said, yeah. So, I said, how many? She said, get them. So, I got a couple bars for my sister coming, my next order. And it was the last order that I could place for this. The last, yeah. So, I got my last 12 packs. So, I got three of these coming because I ordered me one and I ordered my sister two. Um, and then I threw like four of these in each one of my clubs because I like this one so much. I think this is like one of my favorites. I think this is maybe my favorite. So this is, and he can't get pink haze anymore. And I really love the pink haze. I got it in a clearance um, the last sale they had. They had it in there and I got just a couple bars to try it because I'd never tried it before and I really loved it. And this reminds me of it so much. So I was really, really glad that um, I got this thrown in my club because I like it. I like it. It's good. Thank you, Patricia, because that was really, really good. All right, guys. Root Beer Float. It is old fashioned root beer, creamy vanilla ice cream. And I did warm one cube. And it smells very fizzy. Like you can almost you can smell the effort like the fizziness of it when you sniff it of it's like the root beer and the fizziness of root beer. I don't smell vanilla. I don't smell ice cream. I just smell root beer. Even warming it, I smelled root beer. And it kind of made my throat sore. Um, I kind of kept coughing a little bit. And it kind of irritated my throat. Kind of burny. Um, so, I don't know. It kind of really reminded me not only of root beer. But as it warmed and as it was... I kept really thinking it was gingerbread. Um, that's what I kept getting. It was almost like it was ginger or gingerbread or something. I don't even know what's in root beer, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite. Okay. Um, it was fun to get. I mean, I'm glad I got it and tried it cause it was a fun scent, but, um, if I warm it again, I think I'm going to put, um, something with it, um, to tone it down a little bit, but, and I, that was in my open concept and it really did fill up my room and it did last. It really did last and last and last, but um, it's just not my jam. So that's that's going to probably be coming out of my club. I am toying with maybe getting one more bar just to have it just for fun and just to do, you know, maybe occasional warming of it. Because if it one bought one cube, you know, that'll give me plenty of warming time. So I don't know. Maybe I won't even get another one, but um, it's not going to stay in my club. That's for sure. All right, guys, I'm down to my 12th one. Um, this is lemon coconut chiffon. Now this one is um, very comparable to, uh, let me find it here. This one that I have in my club, lemon drizzle cake. Okay. Um, this one has a lilac sugar note. Um, I do like the scent of this, I think, a little better. I really do. Um, this one, I think, is a little bit, it lasts a little bit longer than what this one did. Um, neither one of them are, like, great performers as far as lasting scent. Um, I did not get, out of this one, I got maybe, I think, nine, ten hours. And then I, I could barely smell it. Um, I took it out because I could, I mean, when I walked by the warmer, I could smell a little bit of the cakey note, but the lemon was gone. Um, 
I really smell, I smell a lot of coconut in here. I mean, not like overwhelming coconut, but I could really differentiate the coconut in here. And a lot of people said that they really didn't tell. Um, but I smell coconut, okay? Um, it wasn't bad, but it was like a, like a, I don't know, like a bakery note of the coconut is what I smelled. Um, it was good. It, it, it smells really good. It is a good, but I did definitely smell coconut. Um, this one, I don't smell coconut. And I didn't even really smell the lilac in this either. Lilac sugar in this one. Um, this one, I feel like it's more cakey. Um, more, not as much lemon, more cakey. This one, I feel like it's more lemon at first. And then it has a little bit of cakeness to it, but not a lot. So I kind of like them both. I kind of, I want to try maybe a cube of each out in my, and see how that performs. Um, I don't know, but anyway, so I'm kind of trying to decide which one I want to keep. I love the smell of this one, but I think this one performs a little bit better. And I do kind of like the smell of this one too. So I'm kind of torn. So I'm going to be testing both of these, um, to see. So did I give you guys the notes of this one? I don't think I did. Coconut, pineapple. No, that's not it. That's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the wrong one. Where's it at? Where's it at? Lemon coconut chiffon, lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. Okay. It smells good. It really does smell good. I did like that. So, um, that's it. So this one is in my club right now. I think I'm going to keep it in my club. The other one is in my club too. I don't know. One of the other ones going to leave. One's staying, one's leaving because I can't really keep two that's very similar can't, you know, I can't see doing that. So guys, that is my video. Um, so I'm sorry that I got this up so late and that you guys didn't have a chance to, um, I don't know, maybe you guys did get a chance to get on there and get this ordered. Um, I'm going to try to do a lot better about getting like limited time offer stuff up and, and notify, get you guys notified with it. But I still felt like I wanted to let you guys know what I thought of these scents. I have 12 more coming, so I'm going to do a video on that as well. So that if these scents do come back, because they may come back, we never know. Um, or they put them in clearance, you see them in clearance or in a sale. Um, or they're bundled somehow and you want to try them, you may have a little bit of information on what they actually smell like and so forth. And I know there's a lot of other people's videos out there as well. So, uh, there's that. So guys, overall, I was kind of, it was kind of fun doing the bring back my bar. Um, it was a little overwhelming it being my first time, but it was, it was actually kind of fun. And I thought the price was, price was really good. Um, as far as the bundle. So I'm going to get off here. You guys have a great day. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay. I will leave my Scentsy link down below for you guys. So if you want to shop, if you want to um, join uh, Scentsy Club, um, if you, you know, there's tons of stuff going on all the time on Scentsy. So go, go check out my website, you know, even if you don't purchase, get on there and check it out and, and, uh, just see what's all, what it's all about. There's a lot of bundles and saved options in there. And, um, it's just kind of fun to check it, all the, the fun stuff. So, and it's always changing guys. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up this fall, um, starting in August, starting this month. And going all the way, probably through Christmas. So um, keep an eye on my channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click the all notification bell so you're notified of all my uploaded videos so you guys don't miss anything um, that's going to be coming out because there's some really neat stuff. There, I, I'm going to be in debt. <laughs> I'm not going to be in debt, but I'm not going to be, I'm going to have, I'm going to be spending a lot of money, I think. So I'll see you guys later.